we go. The ultimate showdown. Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. We are back on Minecraft 1.14, the latest snapshot, and I am back with two out of the three new mobs that have been introduced. Right behind me, you can see the pillager and you can see the beast. Now I have done a lot of testing with these, I know how they work and I definitely know changes will be happening to these. Now if you do enjoy today's video and you learn something new, Please take the time to hit that like button. Now stick around because we're going to be fighting the beast with an iron golem, which is going to win. Well, you're going to find out. So to my left, it says stand back. There's a reason why. We have ourselves the beast. He actually lives up to his name. He is a beast. Now I know his name is subject to change because Jeb said he's looking for name changes. But I think the beast suits this guy quite nicely. He is literally a beast. He's definitely one of the biggest mobs that's been introduced to the game. Uh, the other guy we have here, he is a pillager. Watch your eyes, because this guy is wielding a crossbow, and you can see he's, dire he's dying to fire this at me. So he's not quite a villager. He's not quite an illager. He's kind of in between, so they called him a pillager. His outfit's pretty cool as well. Um, after spawning a couple of these, they all kind of look the same. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to start off by messing around with this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to game mode survival. Obviously, he's wielding a crossbow, and the crossbow is a lot stronger compared to a uh, bow. He even fires it from behind. Again, just, just a couple of bugs within this one. So I feel like a skeleton's a little bit smarter than this guy, and you can kind of dodge his bullets. As you can see, It's you, you just move back and forth. You can, you can dodge them, but you can see a crossbow does like one and a half hearts damage. So crossbows are incredibly strong. Um, something I've noticed with the pillager, though, is the pillager himself. They they fire the crossbow incredibly quick. It's kind of like they, they're they enchanted because there is an enchantment which speeds up the rate of fire on a crossbow. So um, I think that's gonna change as well. They're, they're, they're incredibly strong. And don't forget, this is just one pillager. According to Jeb's trailer and the Mojang trailer, they were spawning in groups of five sixes with one beast. Um, that's deadly. The, the beast on his own is deadly on his own. So that's kind of the first thing I wanted to focus on was the uh, the pillager himself. In terms of strength from what he dropped, so one, two. Now that's a sharpness five um, sword that I'm using. The reason why I'm using this is to show you about the beast himself. So we spawned another one. Uh, we got a we got a crossbow that time. Every time I picked up a broke, uh, every time I picked up a crossbow, it's always been broken to this durability. It's always been incredibly low. Um, so I don't I don't know how. I don't know that that's the case. I'm just gonna get them like that. So let's just um, let's just kill this guy one more time because he does have another drop, and his other drop is an emerald. By the way, I have a panda spawn egg. That was the other mob introduced in this update. I'll briefly go over that as well in today today's video. Uh, let's spawn this guy. So mainly when I was I killed about ten of them before. They they sometimes can drop both side by side, but you can see there I just picked up another crossbow. The durability is always at the bottom. They're always pretty much broken. Um, but usually when I kill this guy, he's dropping he's dropping emeralds. Sometimes he drops nothing. I was actually expecting to get something like rotten flesh. So the fact that we get emeralds to me is a little bit more of a bonus. Kind of makes sense as well. Uh, this guy, on the other hand, is incredibly dangerous, incredibly strong. Definitely needs some tweaking. I can definitely see some changes are going to be happening with this guy. Now, the beast himself, he cannot be ridden, at least by us, the Minecraft player, at least... In, in this snapshot, he cannot be ridden. I thought and originally it would be the pillager that would be on the back. That would have been so much fun. So, so much fun. Um, I've tried to get on the back of him. It's it's not possible. He doesn't like me. You can't feed him anything. Uh, yeah. Now, in terms of his strength, right. This guy is strong. I have a sharpness five sword right, right here. It takes ten shots to kill this guy. So if we go one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It takes ten shots. Every single time I've killed a beast, every single time I've killed this guy, he always drops a saddle. All the time. I was expecting a little bit more because this is kind of like a mini boss battle. Believe me, it is like a mini bo boss, boss battle. So what I'm going to do here, spawn in one more. I'm going to go to game mode survival. The reason why we have to watch out is because if we go... Within one or two blocks, he can extend his head. It comes out. It kind of reminds me of Alien. 
As you guys can see, he is powerful, dudes. That was one hit. Now, I'm going to eat golden apples. I want to see how much damage he can do when I've got a god apple. This is god apple, not golden apple. Let's just eat these. I want to see how much damage he can do. You can see. he He's strong. He will... F f He's, he's far too strong. Remember, these attack villages with a lot of pillagers. A lot of pillagers. There's not one pillager, there's a lot of them. So, it definitely needs to be toned down a little bit. He is a little bit too strong and I expect that to change. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn a villager. Let's go to switch game mode to creative. Let's grab some fences here. Uh, I'm going to spawn a couple of villagers and show you guys exactly how he extends his head. Because it's, it's quite an interesting thing to be fair. So, there's a villager. As you guys can see, there it is. It's like the, you know, remember the, the candies that pop out and you just grab the candy? It, it, that's what it reminds me of. I spawned a couple of these, but you can see he extends his head. Come on. There you go. Now, if I break this, you'll actually see how he usually works. He like, he like tosses them. You can see there. Now, if I do, I'll just do it out here. Let's let, let him kill them. He can, he can do what he wants out there. Let's get the beast and let's get a villager. Let's get a couple of these. You can see how far he will hit these. Your villagers literally do not stand a chance. They do not stand a chance at all. They're running away, to be fair. Set this guy out. Come on, buddy. Let's go and play. Oh, he's attacking them. Go on, do it. Yeah. So they're incredibly strong. Now, the beast itself will also trample on crops. It might show you here. You can see there. He purposely tramples on crops. Obviously, chasing the villagers themselves. So he's a crop killer. Not only do we have to watch out for mobs jumping on crops, we've also got to watch out for the beast doing the same thing as well. Like, he does not like crops. Now, a, a villager cannot be killed if a pillager's behind walls. Um, I noticed that. It has to be too high. There's, there's just got to be some more alternative in protecting your village. Especially your villagers. You do not stand a chance. If villagers were smarter, which I'm guessing they're going to be, they would run inside the house. Uh, at least that's what I'm hoping to. I don't want villagers just wandering around. They're just going to get killed. It literally is not fair at all. So the main thing I wanted to do in today's video is I wanted to do the fight of an iron golem versus a beast. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because you've probably seen at the start of today's video. Uh, let's just quickly get rid of this. At the start of today's video, I showed you guys that killing a beast takes 10 shots with sharpness 5. Now, if we just spawn in an iron golem here, just one. To kill an iron golem with sharpness 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. You're ruining the video. Okay, let them. Okay, I, I, let's move out of here. Let's move out of here. I just want to show you that in general, the beast and the iron golem pretty much have the same strength. However, one is better than the other. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. As you guys seen, the start of the video, it was 10 to kill the beast. It's 10 to kill the iron golem. When an iron golem fights a beast, there can only be one winner. And I'm going to show you guys. So one, two, three, four, and the pumpkin versus the beast. Here we go. The ultimate showdown. Go ahead, give him the hands. Get him. Get him. So as you guys can see, there is only one winner. One iron golem versus a beast means the iron golem will win, which is obviously a defense mechanism within a village. What I did notice though is that the pillager and the beast, they will attack villagers before they attack the iron golem. So they gotta speed up the iron golem or they gotta fix the, the, the AI to attack the beast, sorry, to attack the iron golem before they attack the villagers. However, one iron golem will kill a beast. Two iron golems, Sorry, what two beasts will beat the iron golem himself? As you guys can see. So, they're just as strong as each other. They are just as strong as each other. I'm just going to spawn in another one here. I got to see this fight one more time. We got to see this fight one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. It's the iron golem versus the beast. As you guys can see there. There's no messing around from this, this iron golem, dude. He means business. He literally means business. Give him the hands, Iron Golem. Oh, that time he killed him. Okay. That's the first time I've seen Iron Golem kill two beasts. But you can see every time they die, they're dropping, they're dropping saddles. So that's the, the beast. That's the, 
new pillager. There's got to be some change. There has to be some change. It's not balanced. I reckon it will change at some point. The last thing I want to focus on is pandas. I've shown you these before. Uh, pandas are cake eaters. They will sit there and they will eat the cake. They eat the cake on this version a lot better than they do the bedrock version. You did pick that up, right? You did pick that up, buddy. I've seen you. I'm going to grab some more cake just in case you're stealing all the cakes. Let's grab some more of these. Come on, buddy. I know you. We're spawning a couple more. Hopefully they're going to eat some cakes. Come on. I want to see this cake-eating panda. Unless they're broken in this. They shouldn't be. Oh, that's what I want to show you guys. So this is now the new angry panda. This guy right here, he's angry. They no longer have red eyes. They kind of look like every girl in existence now who have crazy eyebrows. <laughs> but yeah, that's the new angry panda. Of course, we do have the smaller ones and you can obtain a brown one as well. If you're lucky, you'll find a brown one. Oh, he's swimming. He just jumped off into there. Come on, brown panda. The brown panda is already in the bedrock version. It's gotta be, it will be here. He will be here. Um, but I want to, I also want to see some cakes. In fact, let's get some bamboo. I'll show you guys the meat and some bamboo. Let's throw out some bamboo, shall we? Obviously, you can breed these with the bamboo. So let's just grab a couple of these. Oh, nope. That's a group of pandas eating the bamboo. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful sight. It's got to be. There he is, the brown panda himself. So you can hand feed these as well. They're incredibly happy. They're incredibly friendly as well. There's so much fun to mess around with. But that's everything in terms of mobs that I wanted to focus on. There's literally only one more thing I need to focus on in this update, and that's to bring you guys a detailed tutorial on the crossbow. But if you guys have been enjoying the videos today, and as always, then please take the time to hit that like button. I spent all day, all day I dedicated my channel to Minecraft update. So hopefully you did enjoy it. Again, the pillager and the beast, they need some changes. Anyway, have a great day, stay beautiful, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!